Hey Raiders here with the Elden Ring Achievement Guide. We're going for Achievement Guide called Chardberry Godric for defeating Chardberry Godric, obviously. So, basically, where to find him, take the northwest path. You'll eventually come through a castle and you'll eventually travel around this side, the left side around here. You can also come around the right hand side. If you look at the map, you can kind of see there's two different ways to get here. So, once you get here, obviously, always summon the cooperator so that way you have some little distraction. If not, I recommend using the bell to summon some spirits. You can always get that at the round table if you missed that as well. So, on to the fight. How strong you should be. I recommend you kind of gauge what my health, FP, and stamina are right now. Depending upon which class you are, obviously. But I am obviously a samurai. And my main ability it will be the unsheath ability. Or if I want to use the bow with the mighty shot, which I don't really use. I just use the unsheath ability when I get some quick shots in there. I always have like six flasks for health and at least one flask for FP as well. Uh, some of his moves, he has a multi four swing move ability and all that is pretty nasty. You just gotta figure out when he winds up with it. It's kind of random, obviously. That is pretty bad, so I would recommend just staying back and letting your AI cooperator take most of the damage or at least the aggro so you can hopefully maybe get behind him. For the most part, he's got like some basic swings here and there, some overpowered. Uh, Strong attacks, which he kind of reels back for a second or two, like you've seen there, and he kind of smashes the ground. Um, other than that, make sure that whenever he gets staggered to get the free blow on him as well, like this. Once you get him halfway, he's going to use the dragon head over there, and he's going to use that as a flame ability, and I'm going to show you where to hide here in a minute. Also, just watch out for a lot of his wind attacks. They're basically like a big old wind You can see him coming. It's kind of hard to dodge him. I'd recommend if you can't dodge him to at least hold the block to negate some damage. You take a good chunk of your stamina or depleted, but it's worth doing that than taking a lot more damage. Now here in a minute, you're going to see that I'm going to give him down to about halfway, and he's going to use the dragon head. And I'm going to show you where to hide from that. If you head out to the right-handed path right here, path, you can see there's a little bit of cemetery headstones here. If you hide behind these ones, they will negate the damage. If you try to go down further in front of them, they will not quite work as well. You will take more damage, but right there, you seem pretty safe. And continue your strategy. It's also best to note that if you can keep your AI cooperator alive for as long as possible and just kind of take the aggro once in a while from him, you also will be able to keep him alive a little bit longer, which is also pretty key if you uh, cannot take damage or block or get out of the way because it will take a couple shots and that is about it for you to die unless you have a ton of health. So make sure you keep him alive and to keep him as a distraction. And then keep the aggro kind of flowing back and forth between both you and the AI. It was about the best way I can su suggest the way you can actually take the damage, survive, and get some shots in without having to basically face his full frontal wrath. Other than that, let's make sure you use your un your ability, whichever class you find best for you. Like I said, mine is a samurai, so it might be different for you, but make sure you use your ability, whatever you feel comfortable with, use that once in a while. Get a couple of cheap shots in. Keep the distraction and the aggro balance between you and the AI, and eventually with some time and some practice judging his attacks and where they'll land and where he will be, you should be able to beat him within at least a few tries as well, if not like 10 or so, I would say. So good luck. I hope this helps you out. Make it get your achievement a little bit easier on you. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and I'll get back to you some more achievement guides.